Caucania region, where armed members of Chile's indigenous Mapuche group have taken control of forests from logging companies. There have been protests in recent weeks in the capital, Santiago. Mapuche people are demanding self-determination and the preservation of ancestral lands, largely owned by logging firms. Let's go on now to our Latin America editor, Lucia Newman, in Santiago. So why is the government declaring a state of emergency and what does it mean in, in practical terms? Well, they're doing it because of what the president calls a grave altercation of public order in the Araucanía region. This means ongoing violence, deaths, uh, destruction of farming equipment, burning down of houses. Earlier today, there was a ch another church was burnt down. There have been continuous attacks by militant Ma indigenous Mapuche groups who say they are fighting for the restoration of their ancestral land. A lot of this land has been occupied by Mapuche communities, and so there have been more than just skirmishes. It's been really mounting and mounting, and many would say that the Chilean state has actually lost control of much of that region. The president has been under tremendous pressure to declare either a state of emergency or even a state of siege, which would be uh, the next step up that would allow him to suspend all constitutional guarantees. He started by a state of emergency. What it means is that the army can now go in and accompany the militarized police who are already there. And when you see them, you really can't see much of a difference between a militarized policeman and a soldier. But apparently there is quite a difference, especially in their training. The uh, army will be able to provide logistical support, to, uh, uh, telecommunications and patrol alongside the police but not be able to do it on their own. So that means we're going to have the army and the militarized police hat side by side going into that region to try to bring it back under control as the government would say. And you see the Chilean state has long been accused of discrimination against the Mapuche people. Tell us more about why they've been marginalized. Well, the Chilean state and the Chilean people, you could say, have been marginalizing historically the Mapuches. It's, it's something that goes, dates back 500 years. But certainly since the late 1980s, uh, not a 1980s, sorry, the late 1800s, when the Chilean state decided to take over the land from the Bio, Bio River, that's the central part of Chile, which had been given to the Mapuches by the Spanish uh, colonial power, uh, and take it over, bring in Chilean, uh, Chileans from uh, the northern part of the country and also Europeans to take over that land. The Mapuches have been relegated at the bottom of the social and uh, economic ladder of this country. And yes, they have been discriminated. Slowly but surely, they've been insisting that they want some of their land back, that they want a better deal. They haven't been recognized for that. And that, many would argue, is the reason why some younger Mapuche groups have now decided to take up arms to get what they want uh, through violent means.